How do I add and edit categories in my premium press team? Well, it's very quick and very simple. Let me show you how. Let's take a look at one of our premium WordPress themes. In this example, we're using the directory theme. All we're gonna do here is notice the categories visible on the left-hand side. So these are the current categories I have for my WordPress theme. Now to edit and change any of these, we simply log into the admin area. From the admin area on the left-hand side, you'll notice we have premium press, we have the listings because we're in the directory theme, a blog, and again, a repetition of this word listing here. Now this listing is the default WordPress setup. And because categories are part of WordPress, this is where you'll find categories. Now, because we're using the directory theme, this is why it says listings. If you're using the micro jobs theme or a jobs theme, it might say jobs. In the dating theme, it might say profiles, etc., etc. So we click on the one underneath the block. Now, once we've clicked it, you'll notice additional options on the left hand side. And the one we're interested in this video tutorial is categories. So we simply click categories. Now, from here, we have a number of options. We can obviously go ahead and create a new category, or we can edit any of the existing ones. So it's really that simple. But let me take you through some of the options that are available. If we go back to our main website, for example, we see the first category is computers and internet. So let's go ahead, search and edit that. So we type in a search option. We find the category we want and let's click on edit. Now, well, firstly, let me just add one, two, three, just so we can see what it looks like if I change the name. I give it an update, go back to my search page, give it a refresh, and you can see one, two, three has been instantly added. So changing the name here changes all of the names visible on your website. So it's not just a search filters name here. If you have any category blocks on your homepage or any of the inner pages, it will change it for those two. So that's how to change the name. The slug refers to the actual link of the category. So if I clicked on this link here, you'll notice in my address bar, this is the slug here, comp123, comp123. Okay, now if we go ahead and look at some of your options, we have small description, and this refers to this description at the top here. Obviously, again, the name is visible at the top. If we scroll a bit further down, we have a big description. Again, it just get a little, gives a little bit more text and visual display. And finally, we have a text icon. Now this is visible in some of the homepage design blocks, so we can change the icon here. If I quickly show you by clicking on one of the existing listings, you'll notice this little tag icon next to the name here. Now, if I want to change that, I would set a new icon here. So click on the icons. Let's give it a random icon. Let's give it a... Oh, spoiled for choice, there's so many icons. Okay, let's just give it this little mail icon here. Okay, give it update. Now if I refresh the page, you'll see the little text icon has changed here. And again, for any of the design blocks you're using that use categories, if you change the icon for the main category, it'll change it for the actual icon here too. So now let's go ahead and add our new category and see how it works. So again, it's the same concept. Make sure you find the categories option. And on the left hand side, it says add new category, simply give it a title. So I'm just gonna give this one testing one, two, three. I'm gonna click on add new category and instantly you'll see it's added to the top. So I could, if I wanted to go ahead and edit this and then fill in all of the additional information I wanted. From the front end, if I was gonna add a business, for example, in the directory theme, I can see the categories on the left here and you'll notice if I do scroll down, you can see testing one, two, three is now available to be selected from the, by the user when they create categories. And it's the same in the admin area. If I manage my actual listings, if I edit any of my listings, you can see here where it says category, I can now select testing one, two, three. So a very quick tutorial, but it gives you a general idea of how to edit the existing categories in your premium press team. Now, before I go, I wanna quickly show you how to manage the order of your categories. So again, if we go back to the admin area of our WordPress theme, let's log in. Again, we're gonna use the one under the blog. So anything that's under the blog here with listings, we're gonna click this. And you'll see this section called taxonomy order. This time I'm gonna click this one. Now this allows you to order any of the taxonomies within your WordPress website. And categories are part of the taxonomy setup. So what we're gonna do is find the taxonomy for categories here. So we click this one. And now we can change the order by simply dragging and dropping the order we want. So if we go ahead and quickly look at our category list here, you can see this is the current order we've got. So um, native and tribal on writing, etc. This is the order we've got here. If we find our new category, so let's go ahead and find testing, which is right at the bottom. 
drag this all the way to the top okay and give it an update now if I give my page a refresh you can see the first category that's on my list here for selection is testing one two three so that's how I would reorder my categories and again the same for subcategories I can just simply order them using the drag and drop option so there we go that's how to add edit and change the categories within your premium pro steam if you like this video consider giving it a like subscribe if you like the content and I'll try to create content just like this in the future thanks again and I'll see you in the next video